session on triangles and uh, we are going to take up another validation for one more theorem now what is this theorem so there are two parallel lines a b and c d okay and f g or a small h happens to be a transversal and uh, you can see that this h f is the bisector of angle c f g f i is the bisector of d f g h g is the bisector of a g f and g i is the bisector of f g b all these bisectors are meeting uh, one pair of them are meeting at h and the other one other ones are meeting at i now the theorem says and whenever there are two parallel lines and there is a transversal and you join the you know or enclose a quadrilateral with the you know the bisectors of the four interior angles then the quadrilateral so enclosed will always be a rectangle and i have shown that as 90 degrees you can see all the four angles are 90 degrees this actually is true and before proving this particular theorem we will as we have been doing we will be proving or validating it by you know changing the configuration of the parallel line and see that every time it is actually so so let's try and see if i move the point a and along with the direction of the parallel lines are going to move so this is the new direction new orientation so again in this case the quadrilateral enclose is a rectangle now let me see if I get any such case where it is not a rectangle. So, by all means, you can see whether I change the position of C or D or any configuration. I am trying to change all these points, but every time you are getting a rectangle. Every time you are getting a rectangle, right? Every time you are getting a rectangle. All this is rectangle, correct? Now you might say how do you know that these are angle these angles are same so for one case i've just arbitrarily stopped it somewhere and now we'll see that yes indeed all these angles also are same so let me measure these angles so i'm measuring angle c f h and you can see that is 49.06 and h f g 49.06 both angles are same that means um both the angles are same that means HF is indeed a bisector of CFG. Is it? Let me now show you some other angles. So let's say now I'm trying to show you GFI. This is 40.94 and IFD. This is also 40.94. So that means these two are also equal angles which two angles i'm talking about the angle gfd is divided by if into two equal parts both are 40.94 so let me turn them off as well and show you the other ones so let's say i g and b oh, oh, let me select the angle first so b g i 49.06 and i g and f that is also 49.06 so this is very much valid guys isn't it and if i now show you the last pair it will be same again so uh, f g h 40.94 and h g and a 40.94 both are same angle so that means all these are perpendicular oh sorry uh, not perpendicular but angle bisector and i can change the orientation here as well and you can see all the the angles still are perpendicular so not perpendicular sorry angle are bisectors sorry these hg and fi and ig and fh all are bisectors of respective angles so in every case it is a rectangle that's what we are going to prove in the subsequent part of this session so uh, we saw the validation of the theorem in the previous part of the video now we are going to take up the generalized proof so we are now going to prove that if two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal then the bisectors of the two pairs of interior angles enclose a rectangle 
Now, what is given? So, given is AB parallel to CD. Okay. And GF is a transversal. Right. This is given. What is to prove? We have to prove that EF, no, um, GHFI or FI. F I G H is a rectangle. So what are the properties of rectangle we need to know so that we can prove it. So clearly uh, each of the angle must be 90 degree either that or you prove that E F G I sorry not E F F I G H is a parallelogram and then prove any one of the angle is 90 degree then also the rectangle is going to be oh sorry the quadrilateral is going to be a rectangle so what did i say i will write down either you prove all angles are right angles okay all angles are right angles then it is a rectangle or else parallelogram with one right angle with one right angle this also is good enough to prove that the given quadrilateral is a rectangle okay so in my opinion i will be going for the second case because it's easy to prove parallel in this case now let's prove this here so clearly uh let me you know put some names on the angle so that it becomes easier to identify and lesser effort in writing so let's say this is one this is two this is three this is four and this is five this is six this is seven and this is eight let's say these are the angle configuration meanwhile we have to also say that hf hg fi and ig are angle bisectors angle bisectors and which angle it's quite evident from the figure okay so we have to prove now that figh is a rectangle let's do that uh, since AB is parallel to CD. Let's first try to prove the given quadrilateral to be parallelogram. Therefore, angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 6 plus angle 8. So, this is angle 8, isn't it? And why is this? Since, or you can write alternate interior angles. We learned in lines and angles chapters right chapter alternate interior angle now angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 6 is equal to angle 8 why it's given bisectors hf is bisector of angle cfg and gi is bisector of fgb so hence from these two we can say angle 2 is equal to angle 6 right angle 2 is equal to angle 6 but angle 2 and angle 6 happen to be alternate interior angle for which two lines hf and gi so hence we can say that hf is parallel to gi right again and alternate interior angles are equal and transversal is transversal is same fg angles are equal right so we can say that so hi HF is parallel to GI. Now, let's go to this side. Now, what I'm saying is, next is, uh, similarly, similarly, what do we see? Angle 3 plus angle 4, right? That is this angle, is equal to angle 7 plus angle 5. That is this angle. Why? Again, alternate interior angles, so alternate interior angles, isn't it? Again, in this case, we know that angle 3 is 
equal to angle 4 and angle 7 is equal to angle 5. Why? Because of bisectors. Is it? So hence I can say angle 3 is equal to angle 5. Correct? And because of this we can now conclude angle 3 and angle 5 are interior alternate interior angles. So hence Fi is parallel to Hg. So using the first one we could prove that this line is parallel to this one. And using the second, we could prove that this line is parallel to this one. That means what? So let us write some identification equation number. So, uh, you know, so hence, or rather, we can do it like this itself that therefore H F G F I G or whichever name we had taken F I G H, right? So F I G H is a parallelogram parallelogram we just proved it why because of this and this correct both the opposite pairs of sides are parallel so it's a parallelogram now now we will prove that one of them is 90 degrees so angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is how much 180 degrees linear pair so angle 1 plus 2 is one angle, angle 3 plus 4 is another angle, so it's 180 degrees. And we know that angle 1 and angle 2 are same, so 2 times angle 2 plus 2 times angle 3 is 180 degrees. Why? Because angle 1 is equal to angle 2, bisector is there, and angle 3 is equal to angle 4, again bisector is there. So that means angle 2 plus angle 3 is 180 degrees by 2. So this 2 is common to both, isn't it? So I can take that on the other side, right, right inside and divide. So we get this is equal to 90 degrees. So angle 2 plus 3 is 90 degrees. Therefore, angle HFI is 90 degree. And that is what we wanted. So we have a parallelogram with 190 degree angle. That means, right? So this is, let's say 1. This is 2. So from and 1 and 2, we can say from... 1 and 2. What do we conclude? G or FIGH was the name. FIGH F -I -G -H is a rectangle. Rectangle, right? So always remember a rectangle is nothing but a parallelogram with one of them, one of the angles being 90 degree. So hence using this property, we could prove that EFGH is Oh, sorry, not EFGH. Every time I'm saying EFGH, it's FIGH is a FIGH is a rectangle. Right? I hope you understood this proof.